This is world's biggest obstacle course, and today we're going to try to beat it without any practice. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. While I was trying to not lose my camera, oh, fuck. I lost something else. This is only obstacle one of a hundred. It's literally a marathon run with obstacles. Only a hundred people attempt this and less than a hundred finish. We started pretty confident. We thought we could do this. Cameraman is joining the challenge, 42 kilometers. <laughs> but in reality, we have zero experience. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm tired already. No. First obstacle, get to the top of the pyramid. First obstacle. A regular marathon takes you like four hours. This is probably going to take us six to seven hours. We will be stopped at eight hours. So besides actually finishing, we also need to finish in time. We beat the pyramid. Obstacle one, done. One kilometer in, 42 to go. I mean, if you say it like that, then... Sure. Oh. Let's go. Second obstacle, finished. Obstacle number four. Yeah, let's go. This is actually kind of nice. Yeah? It's rest for the legs. Switch. And switch. Loving these shells on the ground. A million degrees outside. Oh, I'm sweating so much already. Yes, let's go. Another obstacle is that it's extremely hot today. It's like 30 degrees. So I think that's gonna be a challenge as well. Under pressure, one kilometer until we get a drink. We were going so fast that we had lost our camera, guys. This is nice. Oh, this is small though. There's a lot of water there. Oh. Uh, very high wall, let's go. Our body weight strength was coming in handy during this run. And this will hopefully make up for some time that we lose yeah. during the running. Because we'll definitely need it. We're in a rush and definitely not making up obstacles ourselves. And here is where we found out that we're not okay. going to stay pretty during this run. Challenge number seven. Let's go. Bruh. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Second step I took, I felt right away. And everything was wet, which definitely makes the challenge easier. <laughs> Holy shit, it's slippery. <laughs> yeah. We will basically be wet and muddy during the entire run. This is actually kind of nice. Pretty refreshing. We finally reunited with the camera crew. We are completely dirty, it's insane. <laughs> this is fun though. If we finish this without any practice, it's kind of impressive. What? That's amazing, man. <laughs> we got a first checkpoint. Nice. I feeling good, but very, very dehydrated. Right now it's still fun, but I wonder how long the fun is gonna be. Fun. <laughs> fun, yeah. And oh boy, we were having a lot of fun. We've never done a marathon, not even half a marathon. We never run, basically. We never run, no. It's about 10 kilograms. We are literally doing this with no running experience. I think he's a better runner than me, so we'll see who lasts the longest. <laughs> All right. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Five kilometers in. Oh, what the fuck? Let's go. Okay. Challenge number 20, buddy carry. And there were no problems so far. So far. Finish. That was a bus DJ vibing with us. Shout out to this guy. And we arrived at the second checkpoint, got some food, and we showed some crazy skills. <laughs> oh, my dad is joining. Yeah. <laughs> Piece of cake. He actually has more running experience than me. Lightweight. Lightweight. Stay hard. Stay hard. Yeah, stay hard. Stay hard. <laughs> we are flying through all the obstacles, and we're ahead of a lot of other contestants. So we thought we were doing everything right. But then... Okay, so a guy just came by and told us that we were going way too fast for the 42 kilometers. I think we need to slow down a bit then. I mean, we have no experience with long distance running. We're going towards eight kilometers. One gazillion of what we need to do. <laughs> but I still feel all right, so... I feel good, yeah. There's no way we're not going to finish this, except if there's problems. But still, if we have problems, we will still finish it. My cramps can get so bad. I need to keep drinking. So we slowed down a bit. Also because we lost our camera guys again. <laughs> Boom, Kelsenic. We have lost the camera guys. Yes. But then we continued flying through all the obstacles. Let's go. <laughs> it's crazy intense. Whose idea was it to join this challenge? Marine table. Muscle up. Whoa. 
We're going in the right direction, but where are we? Oh no, what are they doing? Oh yeah, that's water. Like a swimmer. Like a swimmer. Here you have to go through a really small hole underwater. You're literally locked up there. <laughs> it's kind of claustrophobic. Oh yes, definitely. And the obstacles were getting harder and harder, which we actually liked. The Gripster. Because we can finally use our strength. Okay. Which you can do as well by checking out the 90 workout challenge in the description below. <laughs> nice. And almost 10 kilometers in. Nice. But the obstacles were also getting more painful. <laughs> There's no nice way of carrying. No, it's sharp. Fucking spike. There's a spike. We're now 10 kilometers in. This is basically the furthest we have ever ran in one go before in our lives. And I started to feel this. Cooling down is a must. I feel my cat's oh, curling yeah. up. It's not good. My muscles cramp up very fast. It runs in the family. So for me, it's not if, but when will the cramp start? <laughs> but the obstacles are now getting more endurance-based. Load carry. Load carry. These obstacles were designed to slow you down and really tire you up. We're 12 kilometers in. I feel the cramps starting to come up. 30 more. We are one fourth of the run in. Energy wise, we're doing very well. And the support from the team was epic. <laughs> Arn has a bit more running experience, but he was also starting to feel it. And I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. This is gonna be tough. Dehydrated. Drink your water. But realistically, looking at my cramps, it felt like I couldn't run a lot more. I hope everybody there is not claustrophobic because this is really claustrophobic. We just kept pushing and completed the obstacles. Hey. And of course, we had a lot of fun. Oh. Hey. And luckily, we could eat and hydrate. And we just continued. Kept pushing, kept running even. Until my quad started to have a life of their own. They cramped up like crazy. So good. It's so bad. I was disappointed. But we have to continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then the team got me an electrolyte tablet and I just ate directly. How are you feeling? Perfectly fine except for cramps. And we're back on track as fast as possible. That was intense for the cat. Are you guys feeling hot already? I could just use something cold. Well, we got something cold for you. It's gonna be tough. We're gonna do it, but we won't be stopped at eight hours. Yeah. It feels like my body will just quit any moment now. But I won't. I want to finish this to get it. But if my legs really stop, it's over. It feels like we just started. We just started. Yeah. The obstacles where I didn't have to use my legs are a lot of fun. So this one sucked. I think this is why it's called Mudmaster. And the entire team got the full experience. Let's go. So this is the point where it gets crazy. Why is everyone walking in the other direction? And we're now at an obstacle that says, you're almost there. This is because all these people are doing the six, 12 or 16 kilometer run. And we are very close to the finish line, but we're not going there. But <laughs> the finish is there, but the marathon is pointing that way. Let's go that way. Because we just completed the 16 kilometer run and now I have to finish the 12 kilometer run and then the six kilometer run twice. We just started. And we're back at the pyramid. Oh, uh, this is gonna be killing. Now we're here. So many stairs. Survive the pyramid. Twice. I need more of the cold. I need more water. We're now in the sun. It takes quite a lot of time before we enter the next water yes. challenge. I also feel some small cramps coming up. Just a sign of dehydration for me. Let's go. It's fucking insane. I need to drink water every five minutes. This goes nice. I just don't have to use my legs. You gotta massage your calves a bit. <laughs> I am speaking. 
survive. My legs are heroes and the villain at the same time. This is significantly more difficult with a lot of friends. Also, the reason why you see a massive guy in the blue shirt fan club, they're doing the short version and they just started. This was slowing us down quite a bit. As you can see, we're definitely slower than the first time, but it was a lot of fun. Are you not entertained? It is good for skin, though. It's very good for skin. Let's go. <laughs> this is slowing us down as well. I just taste a lot of scent. Camera crew is still there, but they're struggling a bit. <laughs> Filming a video like this is slowing us down. We started nine, now one, we're four hours in. I feel like I need to drink more, but I don't want to drink more. We also have to pee constantly. Yeah. And as much as I tried to fight it, it was already too late. As I jumped, you can literally see my calf getting destroyed by cramps. I instantly felt pain and just jumped off art. It apparently made the face of a crying baby. But this was not looking good. What's going on? Moving. Ah! Uh, Tearing. Oh! This is called next level. Kill me now, please. Instant cramps. Instant calf trend. The only thing I could do at this point was just walk and try to get as far as possible. Honestly, we were getting less and less confident that we were actually going to finish this. But then we met this guy, a subscriber, just like you, because you should definitely smash that subscribe button. Hey, just give me some gels, thanks, man. <laughs> it's got electrolytes in it, magnesium, good for, your, good for your muscles. So this guy turned out to be a pro runner. He was already way further than us. How many kilometers are you in? So I'm about 34 kilometers now. About 10 kilometers. Almost more. finished. You just started. Them. Just break it up into little pieces. You're, then you're always almost finished. Yes. <laughs> almost finished with the 24th kilometer. <laughs> then we were on our own again for now because we would meet Electrolyte Guy again. Energy level, I'm all right. I'm definitely noticing it, of course, but we just gotta keep going. Keep going. See how far we can get. That is really good. You guys have no clue how disappointed I am that I have the grams. I am really glad that Arne is sticking with me. We just did something crazy already. We've been doing this for like 25 kilometers, but it feels like I have to do more. Let's go. Would you ever do this again? Actually, yes. I kind of like it. Hey, that's how you do it. I like it as well. My legs are just fucked. Brothers. Same problem here. That was one thing becoming a problem that we had never thought about. Literally when we drink, then five minutes in we have to pee again. So I think we need some salt. So while we were completing obstacles, the team was getting us some salty water. This will help with the cramps and keeping in the electrolytes. So this is water with a lot of salt. We really need salt. I just put like two tablespoons of salt in here. Oh damn, that's nasty. <laughs> That's saltier than the sea. Or drinks, food, and supplements were gone way faster than we thought. But you don't have to miss out. Make sure to check out my protein and Jim Shark in the description below. Don't forget to use the discount code to save some money. Uh, I'm just in line here. This is not helping with time. I look like shit. <laughs> you look beautiful, man. Meeting Electrolyte Guy and getting some salt in really gave us some new hope. And we just kept pushing. We gotta finish it. Yeah. We gotta do this together. Let's do this. Insane how many people watch the videos here. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that as an excuse that it slowed us down. Ice bath, let's go. That's cute. We were definitely getting more creative on how we beat the obstacles. 30 kilometers in, next challenge is waiting for us. Let's go, let's go. The GoPro still working? I don't know. Crazy. Oh. I was cramped instantly. We just gotta keep doing the obstacles, I'll do the low one. Normally small is not something I'm known for, but we have to complete every obstacle. The GoPro is giving up on us, but we're not giving up. And we arrived at the finish again. This time, 12 kilometers left. Twice the six kilometer run. That's the one most people do, once. Another round. Let's do this. We're not alone, <laughs> do more. There are other people as crazy as we are. <laughs> I really have to say, I thought we were at an advantage with the calisthenics, but the running is definitely the hardest. The further we got, the less I wanted to risk my leg cramping up. <gasps> crazy thing is, I'm still enjoying this. <laughs> I want to continue, I want to do this. Don't want to disappoint you guys. I don't want to disappoint myself. 
everyone's working so hard today the crew they're doing so phenomenal and if i didn't not make it i'd feel so bad holy shit that worked that worked really well another buddy carry i am speedy holy shit okay, bro Whew. here we go again <laughs> under pressure <laughs> <laughs> oh, we survived GoPro. So we could still make it, but we have to hurry. We gotta continue. We only have an hour and 30 minutes left. An hour and 30 minutes for eight kilometers. With support from Aryan's dad. My dad is also <laughs> just going, taking it back. Easy for the mental support. This is this is amazing. There was no oh way God. we were stopping now. You also have like 30,000 steps already. The only thing now is time. I want more ice. It needs to be colder. I think we're gonna complete it in time. Except if I explode. <laughs> Holy damn, that was difficult. Let's go! Six kilometers left. Our last round. Still not finished yet. Where electrolyte guy randomly showed up. He already finished. Did you get the electrolytes in here? No. Do you yeah. still have? To the rescue. You want to come with me? You want to do it? Yeah. yeah. Electrolyte guy is going to join us. <laughs> Let's go. You ready to go, George? I don't know my name. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so for the last round, George was actually joining us. And the pyramid again. <laughs> One last time. We are literally last. There is no one else, but that's also because there's only like 100 people doing the 42 kilometer. Last round triples. Pro tip: <laughs> always tape your nipples. <laughs> I came here without any practice and any preparation. <laughs> We're here with a pro runner. I mean, he completed the entire obstacle marathon quite fast. He did really well. I did 45 in the end. And now he's joining us. He's calling us crazy for doing this without any preparation. But hey, we're gonna finish this, guys. Let's do it. Nice. Still got it. I got this. <laughs> Just keep going. Let's go! Here we are again. It's all, all about finishing. Oh, it is completely empty. This actually took a lot of time on the second round. Also the third round, because there were so many people. We had not seen it this quiet here. Oh. Everything was muddy. But this gave us some time to get to know George a little better. So I uh, I grew up in Belgium, Brussels. Belgium? Oh, no way. But I'm half English and half Irish. So that's where my accent comes from. <laughs> but, and I live in the Netherlands, and my parents live in China. So I'm going for that medal. I'm actually starting to feel better. I think my, <laughs> my body's just given up on giving cues for like, hey, stop. Are they closing up? The Come on. Yeah, we, we are the last. last. We are the last. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. You want to race? A race. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a fast. Yes, so fast. Yo, so fast. I mean, fair game. Pace it up. <laughs> Let's go. I also walked for 30 kilometers. Now. You walked 30 kilometers yeah. today? In what the actual? Almost nine hours. No way! <laughs> the team is working so insanely hard, that's crazy. You alright? That's a bit lighter. Are you calling me fat? <laughs> Every time with these challenges, I don't know how I'm able to run at the end, but sure. <laughs> Another victim of crime. Ice box. We got to continue. We're almost there. George. Yeah. George is the man. A zillion kilometers in and still helping others. We found a gym, and I need to find a way to get out of this. <laughs> Let's go. Almost there. Obviously, those last kilometers give you extra energy. Oh, close. 
so close. Obstacle number a billion. The finish was getting scary close. Of course, complete. Last obstacle, guys. Let's go. Let's go. 12 kilometers in, I was 99% sure I wasn't going to finish this race. But after a crazy marathon with a lot of pain and insane efforts from the team and George. It almost felt like a dream that we are now at the last obstacle. You've done this more often. Yeah, I've done it several times, yeah. How was the aftermath? Oh, it's brutal. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> There's no way to prepare for that. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to this link and hit that bell. See you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>